Hello, welcome to Astronautics for Exploit. In this video, I will be going over the universe models. Geocentric model, heliocentric model, and time range of universe model development. Different people, cultures, religions, and philosophers have developed different models of creation, the world, and the universe at large. There are two main types of universe models, which are geocentric model and heliocentric model. Geocentric model is the earliest cosmological model, and the proponent of this model stated that the heart is at the center of the universe, and every other celestial bodies, the planets, the sun, the moon, and the stars, rotate and move in circles around the heart. Eudoxius of Sinidos, a student of ancient Greek philosopher Plato, presented the first mathematical theory of the universe. Other contributors are Aristotle and Ptolemy. Heliocentric model. The proponent of this model stated that the sun was at the center of the solar system and the planets revolved around the sun, including the heart the moon was considered to move around the heart. The Contributors Greek philosopher Aristarchus of Samos proposed the theory in 3rd century BC, but was not taken seriously because of the influence of the Aristotelian view of the universe and lack of proof of the theory as at that time. During the Renaissance era, mathematician and Catholic cleric Nicholas Copernicus developed a mathematical description of the model to explain the motion of the heavenly bodies. Time range of universe model development Aristotle model Aristotle developed the geocentric model of the universe. His model was widely accepted throughout the whole of Europe for next millennium. Aristotle's model Aristarchus made the first heliocentric model ideas, but was largely rejected due to lack of proof. Ptolemy model Ptolemy explained planetary motion by improving on Aristotle's design using the idea of epicycles. Copernicus model Copernicus proposed the heliocentric model. Tycho Brahe model Tycho Brahe supported the heliocentric theory proposed earlier by Copernicus. Jans Kepler model Kepler found that planets rotate around the sun, not in a circle, but in an ellipse. He found several laws in order to back his claim. Galileo Galilei model Galileo added further proof to the heliocentric theory. Isaac Newton model by building upon the ideas of Copernicus, Kepler, and Galileo, Newton described why planets follow the path they go through, through the law of universal gravitation. Aristotle's geocentric model Aristotle was a student of Plato like Exodus. Exodus was the first to introduce an idea of the solar system and the planets in the sky. His model stated that heart was the circumference of point A. Directly outside heart was another circle, which had a diameter that was lined with other celestial bodies, along with stars, which were fixed in outer space. This second circle rotated around point B circumference. Because heart did not move and had planets orbiting it, this model was both geocentric and homocentric. Aristotle uttered Exodus' statement and stated that all the celestial bodies, with an exception of heart, were circular, and that if they were circular, they could orbit heart forever. Aristarchus of Samos heliocentric model. The Greek astronomer Aristarchus of Samos opposed Aristotle and Exodus' model. He was the first person to produce a heliocentric model of the universe, but he had no proof. 
Aristotle suggested that the sun was in the center of the universe and the planet and celestial bodies revolved around the sun in a circular path. Aristotle also proposed the idea that stars moved during the year. This theory never gained popularity in the ancient world and its geocentric model was much prevailed. Claudius Ptolemus, simply known as Ptolemy, proposed geocentric model. Ptolemy was an Egyptian astronomer, mathematician, and geographer. His flawed view of the universe was accepted for many centuries. He stated that the heart was in the center of the universe. The planets must move in epicycles, smaller cycles, and the heart itself moved along an equant. Nicholas Copernicus Heliocentric Model Nicholas Copernicus was an astronomer, mathematician, translator, artist, and physicist. He was the first astronomer to propose the idea of a heliocentric theory of the universe. His book is thought of as the most important book ever published in the field of astronomy. He stated that the heart and other planets revolve around the sun. Tycho Brahe Heliocentric Model Tycho Brahe consisted observations over a period of 20 years supported the heliocentric theory proposed earlier by Copernicus. These observations were made using only a compass and a system. Keeping with his observations of the new star and the comet, his model allowed a part of the planet mass to cross through the part of the sun. Brahe's model had the advantage of resolving the problem of stellar parallax. In Brahe's model, all of the planets orbited the sun, and the sun and the moon orbited the heart. On November 11, 1572, Tycho Brahe discovered a new star called supernova. John Kepler Heliocentric Model German astronomer John Kepler, Tycho Brahe student, extended Aristotle's theory of spheres by arguing that they are separated by five polyhedrons. Kepler helped to refine the heliocentric model with his introduction of elliptical orbits. Prior to this, the heliocentric model still made use of circular orbits, which did not explain why planets orbited the sun at different speeds and at different times. Kepler's law of planetary motion First law, the orbit of every planet is an ellipse, with the sun at one of the two foci. Second law, a line joining a planet and the sun sweeps out equal areas during equal intervals of time. Third law, the square of the orbital period of a planet is directly proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit. Galileo Galilei Heliocentric Model Galileo added further proof to the heliocentric theory in 1610, and this is based on the several observations that contradicted Aristotle's observations. Galileo Microscopes Galileo created one of the first microscopes and was one of the first people to use the telescope as an astronomical instrument. He was the first person to observe a loss of phenomena, such as the moons of Jupiter, the faces of Venus, sunspots, and the depth of the craters on the moon, which he illustrated by showing the change in shadows across a day. Sir Isaac Newton Heliocentric Model Scholars did not generally accept the heliocentric model of the universe until Sir Isaac Newton in 1687 formulated the law of universal gravitation. He proposed the law of motion and the law of universal gravitation. These laws apply to both heart and outer space and changed Iman's understanding of astronomy forever. As in Newton's law of universal gravitation, any two bodies in the universe attract each other with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Isaac Newton's laws of motion 
first law. Every object will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to change its state by the action of an external force. Second law. The force of an, on an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. Third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For more information, please contact Astronautics for Exploit. Thank you.